Good morning, my dear masters, my dear friends. Welcome to another session of Breath by Breath, a course that teaches you breath mindfulness meditation in a step by step approach. I hope uh, my audio is good enough. Audio clear? Wonderful. Thank you. Any issues with audio or video, please type it on the uh, chat window as we go along. So welcome, dear friends, to another uh, another session. I guess this is the third session this year, and overall, I think, sixth or seventh session since we started this breath by breath meditation course uh, last year. So before we dive into the course overview and a lot of things that we're going to cover over the next uh, few days, a bit, little bit of introduction about myself and the organization that is presenting this for those of you who are joining here new. So my name is Sai Krupa Sagar. I am a trustee until recently, I was the managing trustee at Pyramid Valley International. And now I'm a trustee and uh, I am a, I also do the work of a, a CEO at a startup that I found recently. I've been a corporate executive uh, at uh, the multinational Cognizant. And then I took a sabbatical and worked for a Pyramid Valley in a volunteer mechanism. And over the last few years, my goal and purpose was to share the wisdom and practice of meditation and spiritual science to uh, everybody, pretty much primarily professionals, corporate individuals, and students who have the habit of overthinking. Because that is where I started off. I used to think a lot. I used to analyze a lot. My mind was always noisy, chatty. And for me, when I started this meditation journey 20 years ago, it took a long time to get into that, to, to silence the mind. And then I researched, studied a lot of books, applied a lot of techniques, practiced a lot of techniques. And out of that is what was born this course, where you learn this breath mindfulness meditation, a step-by-step -step approach so your journey to stillness, your journey to emptiness will be a lot faster compared to my journey and a lot of us who started off several years ago. So that's the beauty. So all that you learn here has been practiced and we've seen the success of hundreds, if not thousands of people who have joined this course since last year. And everybody feel the techniques that they've learned this course has been helping them get into that meditative state much faster. I'm sure you will also realize the same before the end of the 11 days. A brief mention about the organization, the pyramid that you see in behind in my background picture, the picture that you see here in my background is that of a place called Pyramid Valley International. This is a 30-acre campus uh, south of Bangalore city. And it takes uh, probably a couple of hours, two hours from the Bangalore airport and one and a half hours from the city. And this has been in existence since the last 20 years. And this whole pyramid is one of the first mega pyramid. When we say mega pyramid, it measures 160 feet by 160 feet. It's pretty huge structure that can seat 5,000 people at a time for meditation. And the whole purpose of this place, we call it as an international meditation retreat. There is a pyramid where people go and meditate and there is accommodation where people can come and stay and free food in form of anadana is provided every day. And there are classes, workshops and programs that continuously happen in Pyramid Valley. We have a couple of conference rooms where we do a lot of workshops. Very recently, end of last month, uh, I concluded a seven-day stillness retreat. I'm sure some of you uh, are also joining here on the stillness retreat. A lot of retreats happening right now. There's a, there is another six-day retreat 
that is happening, being conducted by the Buddha CEO organization. So the whole purpose of this organization, Pyramid Valley International, is to teach and spread the practice of meditation and allied spiritual science. And the founder, the founder and uh, the key master who's guiding this vision is Brahmarshi Patriji. So our deepest gratitude to Brahmarshi Patriji who found Pyramid Valley International. Before that, he also found the global movement called Pyramid Spiritual Society's movement, which has four goals, spreading meditation, spreading vegetarianism, spreading spiritual science, and spreading the science of pyramid energy. So pyramids are basically structures that help you calm down faster. There is a science behind it. We'll try and cover that in one of the sessions. If you see a lot of sacred religious places, like temples, mosques, churches, everything have a kind of a conical shape. So there is a sacred geometry. There's a science, there is a, there's a domain of study that studies these structures. And pyramids are built, the pyramids built for meditation are built at a specific angle, 51 degrees, 51 minutes. And uh, so, and, and there is a king's chamber inside. You will see all that in the Bangalore pyramid. Uh, there is a pyramid, uh, a mega pyramid in Hyderabad and several other places as well. So pyramids are structures that allow the flow of energy faster, helps you calm your mind much faster. So deep gratitude to Brahmarshi Patriji uh, because of which we are all connecting and because of which he brought and his main, his main uh, finding has been bringing the ancient wisdom of Anapanasati from Gautam Buddha. So we are going to see quite a few things in this course. And this course is about breathfulness or breath mindfulness, which in Pali language is called Anapanasati. And again, we'll also be covering the wisdom of uh, Buddha or the, or the last four days of this course. So deep respects to gratitude to Gautam Buddha and all the masters whose wisdom we're going to cover during these 11 days. So before we get into today's uh, session, I just want to lay out a few essential agreements. Uh, so number one, please do join us, join in by 6 a.m. later, 6 a.m. IST. And uh, I know a lot of people will, will quickly do a poll on where are people joining from. So please log into Zoom later by 6 a.m. So we'll start the uh, session, we start the Zoom 10 minutes earlier, so you can join in by that time and participate with full focus and zero distractions every day, at least for the first 75 minutes. The first 75 minutes will include the talk and the meditation. The first three days, we will do most of the talk before the meditation session because it will involve a lot of guidance and then explaining step by step, and then we'll do the meditation. The subsequent days, on some of the days, we might follow the same when we teach the next step of the breathfulness routine. The next of the next of next few days, when you are just mostly practicing meditation, we will dive into meditation first. So that will be around 10 to 15 minutes into the 6:10. Uh, we will dive into meditation, and there will be 40 to 45 minutes of meditation. After that, we will share the wisdom. We will share the talk. So do not miss the talk, the introduction, and the meditation. So make sure you're here at least for the first 75 minutes. And please, please keep the videos on. I'm sure all of us have been through this COVID, um, COVID routine where we, we were all frustrated by our kids not switching on their videos. I'm sure a lot of teachers have felt that as well. So now is the time to show that switching on videos is the most powerful way of learning and absorbing, right? I mean, you are you are staying focused without any distraction. Please switch on videos. It also helps the uh, teacher. It also helps a lot of others. Uh, and continue to switch on the videos during the call as well as during the meditation session. Because sometimes we look at the structure and, and look at your posture and then provide the guidance. So that is also there. And uh, every day we're going to give you a small exercise, uh, some assignment. So please do that, very simple. 
So it could be as, as simple as observing your breath consciously, right? And please make note of it and you share your feedback or answers when I ask you about whether have you done your homework, right? It isn't going to take any time. You don't need to spend a lot of time, right? But nevertheless, keep a notebook and a, and a pen or a pencil for this course so that you can keep noting things down and sharing. Some of it you may be able to share, some of it you may not be able to share, so that it will be helpful for you. And use the chat facility only when requested or only when really necessary. We do not want it to be flooded with distracting messages. So uh, every day after the session, toward the end of the session, we'll allow uh, time for Q&A. So you can ask your questions on the chat window, or you can, if you have your video on, you can raise your hand, the Zoom hand, and then we'll call you to ask your question or share your experience, all right? And all of you know, we have a WhatsApp group as well. And towards the end, I'll probably share that. So please join that. And um, uh, so you can ask any questions there. We'll also put in the exercises uh, every day there, all right? And if you follow all these essential agreements, right? Here is what you will learn. So we are going to learn what is conscious breathing. Yeah, some of you might be wondering, how do, what do I learn about breathing? So today's session, there will be a quite a few insights for you on, on breathing. How do we breathe right? right? So you will learn how to meditate. You will learn why meditate and, and the impact that meditation has. The neuroscience of meditation, impact that meditation has on our body, on our mind and overall our life, right? So we'll talk about it. And then how to get over distractions. As I said, one of the common issues that most of us have as we sit down to meditate is a lot of distractions, right? You keep getting thoughts, keep getting thoughts. You don't want to meditate. You don't want to do this. How do we get over distractions? There are several techniques that we are going to cover during this course. And this course, uh, we are also going to cover few insights from wisdom of Buddha. So the, the, the way we are looking at is the first three to four days, it will be more about meditation, the instructions about meditation, the structure, the posture, uh, the steps, right? And then the next four days will be about this, the uh, science, what is happening, why meditation? What is the impact of meditation on your physical body, on your mind, on your life? Uh, how does it help in your healing process, how does it help in your uh, intuition, right? So those are the, in the last four days, we will focus on some key nuggets of wisdom from Buddha. So that's a new addition to this uh, month's course on Earth by Earth. And you will definitely experience, my dear friends, as you continue to be with the course for the 11 days, you will definitely experience efficient breathing, enhanced awareness, increased focus and concentration, reduction in mental chatter, and moments of wow through your meditation, through the wisdom that you learn during this course, you will find all these provided you attend our course for 11 days and meet the essential agreements. All right. And there's a lot of books that we're going to talk about. I'll keep talking about several books. And these are some of the books that uh, this course is built on a lot of techniques. Breath by Breath is a foundational book that talks about Anaparasati meditation. All right. And uh, we are conscious breathing. We are going to cover quite a bit of the topics uh, today, and then we're going to cover a lot of science. So before I, I move on to the next part, the meditation that we're going to talk here is called Ana Pana Sati, right? And in Pali language, Ana means in breath, Pana means out breath, and uh, Sati is mindfulness. And pretty much what we are going to learn is mindfulness of breath which is what we shorten it and keep calling it as breathfulness or breath mindfulness, all right? And what does breath mindfulness mean? So before we dive into the steps of breathfulness, here are the three things that we're going to cover today and tomorrow. Number one, we're going to talk about the mechanics of breathing. Today, we're going to have a professional breath coach talk about it. And tomorrow, we're going to talk about the posture and what all happen as we breathe. And we're going to get into the first step of the meditation process tomorrow. So today we're going to do some exercises, some, some breath exercises, as the, which we'll always use as the warm up before we dive into meditation session. All right, so that is the structure of the course, overview of the course, why we are doing this course. I hope it's uh, pretty clear. 
And uh, before I call upon uh, uh, Yukti, ma'am, so I don't know if you already joined. Yes. Okay, before we start today's session, I definitely want to give your hands a bit of an exercise. So can you please type yeah, on the yeah. chat? Yeah, okay. Great, so one sec, yes. So before we uh, dive into that, uh, just one quick exercise to your hands. Please, can you please type in on the chat window? Uh, number one, there are two questions. Number one, uh, where are you joining from? Your, your city, your place and country if you are joining from outside India. All right, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Darwad, USA, Bhopal, Ahmedabad, Jammu, Nepal, Srinagar, Shimoga, Kerala, Seattle, USA, Mountain View, USA, Jaipur, Raipur, wonderful, Delhi, Fresno, California, Chikmagalur, Tamil Nadu, Mumbai, Ballari, Lonavala, Kolkata, quite a lot of you from Bangalore, Pune, Katak, Connecticut, US, Karachi, Pakistan, Girinagar, Bangalore, Mysore, Gurugram, Vishakapatnam, Denver, USA, Mumbai, Chennai, Nepal, Bangalore. Wonderful. Wonderful, my dear friends. Super uh, Telangana Pune. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So this is good. This is uh, uh, this is a session where people are participating across the globe, spending their valuable time. Uh, I know it is uh, uh, late in the evening for people joining us from the West, from the USA, and uh, and then it is probably towards the midday for people joining us from the East, um, Australia, Nepal, and uh, Singapore. So uh, really thankful for you for your presence here, wonderful. And the second question, how many of you are here to learn meditation for the first time? How many of you have not learned meditation? How many of you are here to learn meditation for the first time? We're a beginner, just type yes. Cool, yes. Wonderful. So we have quite a few. Thank you. We have quite a few of you. Uh, thank you for joining. Yes, please stay with us for the 11 days. It's just 11 days. And uh, you will you will be uh, learning a lot of stuff. I mean, whether uh, and then the practice part follows, but at least you learn a lot of stuff. All right. And we've seen people undergo or experience changes in the 11 days, primarily because of what you're going to learn today. Right, it's about the right way of breathing. All right, my dear friends, with that, uh, I'd like to welcome our professional breath coach, Yukti Raj Kishore, uh, ma'am Yukti Raj Kishore. Uh, recently, she happened to attend a stillness retreat in Pyramid Valley and offered to talk about the first time I heard there is, a, I know a yoga coach, I know a meditation coach, uh, we know a personal development coach, but the first time, I heard uh, someone doing the breath coach, teaching the right way of breathing and uh, uh, breath for uh, everyone. So let's welcome Yukti Raj uh, Kishore, ma'am. And uh, ma'am, please introduce yourself Thank and you, take it over from here. Thank you, sir. A very, very warm Good morning, a very, very warm welcome to everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. And I'm Yukti Raj Kishore, I'm your breath coach for today's uh, training session. And it's an honor to have you all. And thank you so much, uh, Sai sir. A uh, huge, huge gratitude to you for giving me this opportunity to express and share my knowledge and wisdom uh, whatsoever I have received so far. Yes, it is... Uh, 
a very very different way like sir has said there are yoga coaches a um, lot of meditation coaches but being a breath coach uh, truly connecting with our breath and helping people to connect to their breath is uh, what i pursue my life this is a passion of my life so how are you all breathing today give me a thumbs up if you are breathing well guys okay now a quick question to every one of you when was the last time you thought about your breath seriously give me in chat box when was the last time you were seriously thinking about your breath now great awesome yeah keep messaging everyone and today is going to be a very very eye opener session for every one of you that how breathing can be so so powerful and life transforming in your life and now a go while back mostly people are saying now now thank you mani ranji swati yesterday doing meditation rachekar okay great 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 do you realize guys thank you so much everyone you inhale your first breath and you take birth in this universe huh? and you exhale and you are no more alive your last breath and in this between your first inhale and last exhale lies your whole life and sometimes we are not even paying attention to this very fundamental existence that we are supposed to be am i right give me a thumbs up yeah give me a thumbs up do you realize that that we have never paid much attention to it but this is the power this is the most powerful thing that we are all blessed with it's just that we have been ignoring it for quite a long time and this is today being the part of this breath by breath meditation you are giving yourself an opportunity to work with your breath deeply okay so are you all ready to work with your breath guys are you all ready give me a thumbs up yeah all ready okay great so let's begin what i have planned for you today the some of the very very powerful things that you will be uh, you will learn in today's session let me just share quickly my screen to give you a a, a quick brief So here we go the things that you will be learning first is the first concept is breath versus emotion um and the benefit of learning this concept is you will exactly come to know that how your emotions impact your breathing and vice versa so is there any way that we can manage our emotions who all wants to manage their emotions effectively your sadness your depression your anger issues just message me here me in the chat box if you are the one who would love to uh, you know manage your emotions more effectively without depending upon you know any external things like food or uh, you know any external solution okay awesome awesome everyone now the second concept that you will learn today is optimal breathing benefits and you will be completely amazed what breathing can do to you at a very very deep down level and the third thing yes of course we will be learning as well as practicing the right way of breathing what is the right way of breathing uh, the only thing i expect from you and i said the context is commitment that you stay here fully present for the next uh one hour with me so that you understand and grasp these concepts as well as practice well with me keeping the video on very very important so that we can correct your postures if needed so are you all with me to learn just message me here ready to learn or just rtl that's okay we can go for short forms yeah. okay great So a quick introduction about me is uh, I am a breath coach and uh, my life has been I am a corporate trainer I have been into corporate industry for quite a long time and I wasn't able to manage my work life as as well as uh, you know the official life in why because I was suffering with a lot of uh, health ailments I met with an accident uh, so there were a lot of ups and downs happen and I have been into sorrowful state of being into a lot of stress anxiety depression 
and the lowest state of my physical fitness also. That all culminated and I was running behind doctors getting treatment, but there was something was not good. And there, that's where every day you get up in the morning and feel stuck that why it is happening to me, why I am even living if I am so much having a disease body and I'm not contributing neither to my family nor anyways and what is the purpose of my living all these things were going on with me and um, I happened to come across a breath coach like you have come across me today and he told me that you see you are breathing wrong and I was shocked I was truly blown I said how on this earth you can tell me that I am breathing wrong because everyone is breathing in an auto mode and no doctor, no teacher has ever told that this is a right way of breathing and this is a wrong way of breathing. And even if I'm breathing wrong, how could it affect me? Okay. And then he shared a few things that I am going to share with you. And I realized that we never applied the common sense. And it is all very common sense thing that I will be sharing with you some deeper concepts, of course, with the science based that you will be understanding today. And from there, my breathing fitness journey has started. And I always say one thing to people that breathing is simple. Make it simpler. Do not just run behind XYZ breathing techniques and pranayams. Keep it very simple and it is going to help you immensely. So a lot of people come across to me and they say, they say that I want to learn this, this, this without knowing their basic breathing pattern and without working on the fundamentals. And they mess up. Why? Because if your breathing is not correct, the basic foundational breathing that you are going to learn and practice today and over and above you are doing advanced breathing practices like pranayama, without any supervision, it may harm you more. It may harm you more rather than benefit you because pranayams, it's written, it's scientifically proven, are like your pneumatic tools that are used to cut the rocks. Okay. So if you apply it wrongly, just imagine how much it can, you know, uh, 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 it can harm you more. Okay. So is it clear to everyone? Is it clear to everyone so far? Clear everyone? Good. So let us go to and deep dive into the secret number one. And from there, my journey started, as I shared with you. And then there was no looking back. I could heal myself at physical, mental and emotional level from a person who was completely bedridden for months and months, not able to walk, severe stress, anxiety, depression, headache, migraine issues, thyroid issues, what not. To a person who is now in front of you with a very good fitness levels, I can certainly say that <laughs> at this present time, because I strive for that. And yes, I have done some of my quick achievements. Yes, that I'm a barefoot runner. I have run so far 21 kilometer. I have built this practice of running. Plus, I have done 508 Surya Namaskar also when it comes to fitness level. I can share these, some of the achievements. Hope you found it good. <laughs> okay, and inspiring that how breathing can really help you. Plus, a uh, little bit that uh, breath holding is a process that you learn. And uh, when I uh, come across this program, and program means the breathing fitness, uh, I was a completely wrong breather, chest breather. From there to I could improve myself to diaphragmatic breathing, belly breathing. And I will share with you how you can also improve. And that has immensely helped me to build my lung capacity, my running capacity, as well as uh, feeling more calm and relaxed in day-to-day -day life. Okay. So uh, this was just to express, not to impress you, all those things that, yes, you can also achieve much more. And I truly wish that you achieve much more and spread breath awareness. And uh, Pyramid Valley has been a very, very fundamental instrument in my journey of spirituality. I've been associated, I've been coming to Pyramid Valley for more than five years and got this opportunity to connect to Science Sir this time and this is how I am here. Thank you so much once again Science Sir for bringing me here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone. So let's deep down very quickly into this. Okay, here we go. 
So, yeah, so this is all we will be learning. So why breathing is so important and why we should even care for this. So here I am giving you some scientific facts that if you deprive a cell 35% of oxygen for 48 hours, it will become dysfunctional or sick. Okay, so now if you are someone and who is saying that it's a Nobel Prize winner for cell physiology, Dr. Otto H. Warburg says that. And we all know cancer is what? Cancer is nothing but a group of six cells where your cells are oxygen deprived and their body cells have degenerated beyond physiological control. There is no current physiological control. And these six cells are reproducing one again, the other, and then again, the other. Now, understand this very basic concept that if you are breathing wrong, that means only you are a chest breather, you are not using your lower lungs. Yeah, that is a full capacity of your lungs using your diaphragm your cells will be deprived of oxygen and they will become sick. And these six cells will do what? What does six cells do? Any cell for that matter, they reproduce, right? And they make what? Tissues. And these tissues will make what? Your organs. And that is how any sickness developing in your body. Apart from that, you think that, okay, I am not taking supplements, vitamin D, this, that. And that's the reason you are having all these diseases. The Biggest, biggest culprit is deeper down is that your cells are also not healthy because they are not functioning properly. They are not able to throw the toxins from the system and these toxins are making you uh, sicker, making you and creating sickness in your body. Yeah. Is it clear, everyone? Does it make sense to every one of you? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. So when is there any way that we can improve on it? Yes, of course. But before I go ahead, I want to give you a little bit more scientific proofs for you to open up your eyes. Yes. Because many a times it happens that we do not pay attention. So here I will just share a few more things that American Institute of Stress says that 80% of the population is suffering with chronic stress, 50% obesity, and 30% insomnia. 70% deaths that are happening worldwide is because of cancer, heart attack issues. And do you know why, guys? May I have some answers in the chat box very quickly? As per your understanding, what is the deepest root cause of all these ailments? Is there any way? Can you all just quickly miss it? Yeah. Poor breathing, food, tension, stress, negative emotions, bad habits, mental sickness, lack of breathing practice. Yes. Lifestyle, negative thoughts. Thank you. Thank you so much. All the answers are correct in some way. And here comes the big answer that is, the reason is also that 90% of the population is breathing wrong and they are even not aware of and because nobody is guiding them. And that is why I would love you all to start focusing on your breathing right away. Yeah. And that's the reason I'm on a mission to help 1 lakh people to build a conscious, healthy and purposeful lifestyle using the power of their breath. And I would love to have all of us in this mission, we all are actually a part of the mission to spread breath awareness. Yeah. So let's talk about secret one that is how we can dissolve stress using breath. So may I know what are the biggest stress triggers for you all? What are what triggers the stress in you? What triggers the stress in you? Quickly. You have to have that clarity within you. Criticism, yes. Work, very good. Work pressures, overthinking, emotions, health, failures, yes. Keep going, keep going, everyone. Negative thoughts, yes. Angry, overthinking, fear, overthinking, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. So is there any way, I want you to now go deeper, okay, that what is okay how our emotional states are influence our breathing and i want you to keep on messaging as i give you the emotion or the situation so let me know when you are feeling very angry fearful anxiety okay 
morning time you are preparing breakfast your kids are not listening they are not eating they are not getting up or sometimes your maids are not coming at office uh, there's some you know the presentation needed to be given there's a lot of anxiety and nervousness how do you how do you have you ever noticed how you are breathing at that time huh? have you noticed that you are actually breathing, yes, good, short breaths, absolutely, shallow breaths, short breath, this is how you are breathing, yeah, shallow in and out breaths, huffing and puffing is absolutely happening to you. Now, this is a very common situation that we all know about. Now, I want to bring your attention to grief and I would, I would like to give one very powerful example from my life itself. Um... I remember one day my father called and he said, Beta Baba Sahab nahi rahe. Your grandfather is no more. And I was very close to my grandfather. And I felt in that moment that somebody has punched in my heart. I couldn't breathe. And I went breathless. And for those few moments, few seconds, there was a there was complete choking I felt in my chest. So when there is a sudden demise, a sudden shock news that happen and that you listen, this the, the breathing that happens is a spasmodic breathing. You feel a spasm in your in your in your breathing. Now guilt, when you are not able to meet the expectation of yourself, maybe your parents' expectation that as I was feeling guilty when I was bedridden and was not able to take care of my younger kids, my both boys, I was having this huge, huge guilty that what kind of a mother I am. I'm good for nothing. So are you someone carrying those lot of guilt within you? Yeah. You tend to rest breathe restrictively and without you being even aware of and I have many students in my community those who have come across and they were they you will be able to generate this awareness so don't worry if you are facing but yes if you are facing any of these emotions it's a reason that they, there is something that you need to fix within you not depression and sadness okay how do you breathe Yes, how do you breathe when you are depressed and sad? You actually under breathe. So I want to quickly know from every one of you, those who are present here in the room, when have you ever experienced distorted breathing pattern because of your emotions? These emotions, I have outlined some of these emotions. And can you all just message me here, distorted breathing, if so that I know that yes, you have experience. Just message me a DB or yes or anything. Yeah. Yes. No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for messaging me. Now that you understand that your stress levels, your emotions are impacting your breathing. Yeah. So let me just go a little deeper. So this is like how your emotional states are influencing your breathing. If you have positive emotions, you can see the slow, deep breathing, rhythmic, diaphragmatic breathing. It is a very regenerative and calming breathing. It has a very calming, regenerative effects. However, the negative emotions you experience, fast, shallow breathing, excessive, inefficient, chest-only breathing, toxic and stressful breathing. Yeah. So let's summarize what is happening within us. Improper breathing causing insufficient cell oxygenation. That means oxygen level at cellular level are not sufficient. And this is also called cell hypoxia condition. And that is further leading to your high stress level, chronic stress levels, burnout and lifestyle related diseases. Yeah. And this is again causing distorted breathing. How many of you feel that you are maybe experiencing this vicious cycle and you feel that you are trapped in this vicious cycle and you are ready to break this by committing to this 11 day breath by breath meditation program just give me a me if you are committed to break this pattern once for all yeah okay awesome stay committed awesome Awesome, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. So what is the lesson you have learned from this first uh, concept that I have shared with you? Can you all let me know? Yeah. 
So the first thing that you have learned here is poor breathing leads to reactive emotional states. Yeah. So now you have got a choice, guys. We have you have been where attention flows, energy goes, right? We all know. So you have been working with your stress levels unknowingly, being into traffic jam, meetings, kids, schools, exams, everything. You have been working so long with your stress level, not with your breathing. So by this is stress, this is breathing. So your stress level has been overpowering your breathing. Now it's a beautiful opportunity presented to you to work with your breathing. Make your breathing so powerful that your stress level will start going down and you experience deeper calmness, inner peace, harmony by practicing with your breathing. Are you all committed? Are you all ready for that? For the next 11 days? Give me a thumbs up. Yes? Okay. Awesome. Awesome, everyone. Thank you so much. So now we will quickly jump to the next segment that what is the benefits of breathing? And we would like to do a small test for here for every one of you. And this test will be an eye opener for every one of you to understand what all things, whether you are you, how you can live longer and happier. Everyone wants to live, I guess. Yeah. And second, and a lot of other things that you will come to know that I will be sharing with you is what are your current stress levels and how the rhythmic breathing can help you and how can you, whether your body is more risk of diseases whether your body is more stressed out whether your body is more healing or more toxin so we will talk about all those things let's do a test if you are ready for the test to take one very powerful small simple but yet very powerful test just message me here test so that i know that you are all set keep your videos on preferably yeah, what we are going to do is before I go ahead, I want to quickly ask you, OK, uh, what is the uh, what is the efficiency of the vehicle that you drive? What's the mileage it is giving you? That is number of kilometers in one liter. Quickly tell me. 35, 18, 35, good to 55, 20. Oh, everyone knows. Yeah, 50. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome, everyone. So everyone knows the efficiency of the vehicle you drive. Now, I want to ask one question to everyone else. What is the efficiency of this vehicle that you are driving? What is the efficiency of this vehicle? That is you, your lungs. Have you ever thought of this? As if you have no idea, yeah, no idea. Message me and no idea, yeah, or NI, yeah. Not sure, very poor. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you so much. So let's, are you ready to take that test now? Shall we do that to know that how efficient we are? And what are the implications of this test? And when I will share this with you, it will blow your mind for sure. Yes? Okay, great. So everyone sit upright. Now, before I do this test, what we'll be doing here is in one minute, we will be counting our breaths so what is one breath one breath is your inhale and exhale that is your one breath okay no pause in between no pause that means no consciously you are not holding your breath between any and any breath first thing second thing is uh, keep your eyes open no closing of your eyes Third thing is that you will take normal breaths, not deep breaths. We are not doing deep breaths, just the normal breath, the way you sit, talk, just normal. So just keep counting. Inhale and exhale. One, inhale and exhale. Two, inhale and exhale. Three, and I will give you a timer here. I'll just bring you, bring a timer here. I will initiate and then you can continue for the next one minute. After the one minute, you all are going to share with me how many breaths you have taken in one minute. So let's begin, everyone. I hope you all can see the timer on your screen. Sit upright. Shoulders relaxed. Keep yourself relaxed completely. And I will start it. Inhale and continue with your exhalation and keep counting. Three, like that. Keep counting for the next one minute. Mm. 
no deep breaths, keep your eyes open. There is uh, not running any contest, so there will not be any prizes for the distribution. Be honest with your breath. There's no running race. Just stay connected with your breath. Be gentle with your breath. Your breath is always there with you. Now is the time for you to understand your breath and be there with your breath. Thank you. Here we go. So what have been your number of breaths? Very quickly. 16, 18, 12, 16, very nice. 28, 18, 29, 13. Okay, great. Awesome, awesome, everyone. Okay, okay, great. Okay, so um, to share with you, would you like to know what is the optimal breath rate? What is the optimal breath rate? And what is the significance of breathing? Okay. So on an average, currently, people are breathing somewhere pulling around 18 to 20 breaths per minute. Okay. Whereas we need only and only 6 or 5.5 breaths per minute only. Yes, absolutely. 6 or 5.5 breaths per minute is what you need. Now, what happens when you do not breathe optimally? Let's do a quick math. Okay. So a Suppose average breath rate is 18 breaths per minute. So number of breaths in one day is 18 into 60, that is per hour into 24, that is 25,920 breaths. So one day breathe, if we breathe optimally, that is six breaths per minute, you are breathing only 8,640 breaths. And currently, average according to average breath rate, it is 25,920, right? So how many breaths we are wasting? We are wasting around 17,360 breaths. That is what we are wasting. We are over breathing. And if you check our yogic scriptures, it is very much written that we all are born with limited number of breaths. We all are born with limited number of breaths. So the way we breathe is the way we live also. We all are born with limited number of breaths. So if you are someone who would love to live healthier and longer, I have this one very powerful thing with you to share. And that is the nature's law. You all can see here in this chart, breathe right, live long. The long-lived animals utilize a combination of strategies to limit oxidative stress-induced cellular damage. You can see here the domestic dogs, they are breathing somewhere around 18 to 28 breaths per minute. 16 years is what they are living. Human, 75 years, the average lifespan, 6 to 20 breaths per minute. And your toy toys, whale, shark, they all are living more, much more longer, hell, longer. And their breath rate is only 0.5 breaths per minute. If I talk about bowhead whale, 0.5 breaths per minute, that is only one inhale is, uh, is your taking one minute, right? Okay. So do you found it powerful, guys, this information? If you found it powerful, useful, you can just message me here, useful, powerful, whatever you feel. Yeah. Did you get, get the insights that how much you can actually, with this example, you can actually check out how much you are over breathing. And the lesser, the better your optimal breath rate is you will start living healthier and longer. Now, this test has also one more very powerful implementation. And this will tell you also that internally what is one more thing is happening. So this is another results that I'm sharing with you that if you are someone who is breathing four to nine breaths per minute, your level of oxygenation level, you can see here, four to six breaths. So I want every one of you to just message me your stress levels, whether you are coming into nirvana that is four to six, calm, seven to nine, and restless, 10 to 12, and 13 and above is stress anxiety issues, that you are more chronic or, or susceptible, susceptible, susceptible to stress levels, okay? 
And what are the benefits if you are into 429? Your body is a healing body, healthy mechanism. Okay. Uh, it will heal uh, if you get any, any issues. Firstly, there's a lesser risk of getting diseases when you are in this parasympathetic, that is a relaxed rest and digestive mode. Your body is more healing and calm right. with more positive oxygenation happening. Relaxed hormones will release endocrines, serotonin, dopamine. Whereas if you are into 10 to 18 plus breath per minute rate, you are into alert zone. Okay, all the time you are feeling, um, you know, fight and flight mode. What is that fight and flight mode? That means if any situation arises, any stressful situation arises, you are always alert. And even if that situation is removed from your system, from your situation, you are still feeling chronic stress. And this is accumulating in your nervous system also. You have more increase of risk of diseases. How many of you remember that during COVID time, more than people got affected by COVID, it was the fear of COVID and the stress of COVID also have made a lot of people to invite COVID and get uh, COVID uh, uh, during that time. It Does it happen, right? It has happened to a lot of people, yes. So more than the COVID, COVID fear has caused COVID. Yeah, yeah. So how it is happening now, do you understand how important it is for you to protect yourself from getting stressed from any outer source, anything. You have to identify the your stress triggers and you have to nullify the, those stress triggers through the positive mindset, practicing and breathing. That's the most, most powerful breath work and meditations are the most powerful way. Now, a lot of people will say that, you know, your breathing impacts your gut health also, acidic and toxic uh, in nature. Your body will be if you are not paying attention to your breath. So, what is the usual things happen when you are having any gut issues? What do you do? Okay, constipation or acid reflex that you start feeling. You say that, okay, I need to go to the doctor. You check with the gut health specialist and all that. And maybe you are taking pantacid and then otherwise the other medicines or some, you know, kharke nuske, uh, you know, kayam chun, isabagol, how all the all these things that happens, yeah. So when all these things happens, yeah, you think that you are helping yourself. But I tell you one thing, these are all temporary. And as your body immunity will grow to up towards these medicines that you are taking, you will be taking higher doses. But all you need to fix is your breath, to fix your gut health also, to make your body from acidic to alkaline also. So breathing plays an important role. You don't need to carry juices, you know, car has nothing. You have to not invest any time because your breath is always there with you. All you need to do is just breathe. Breathe effectively, efficiently to improve your nervous system, your gut health. Every part of your body, every systems are actually impacted. Rather than you running behind doctors, can you be the doctor of your own self and your, let your breath guide you, right? Yeah. You take the questions, don't worry. We, you will In this whole 11 days, you are going to practice this, how you can improve your optimal breath rate. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Now, coming to the right way of breathing. Are you all excited to learn the right way of breathing? Hmm? And would you like to check out that? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mind open. Amazing. So here I share with you, um, firstly, the right breathing. What are the benefits of right conscious breathing when you started doing that? And why right breathing is so important for our overall health? So these all the benefits that you are seeing here on the screen and that I'm going to share with you are the, are the real things. Okay, it is not copy pasted from internet or anywhere. These are the results people are getting and you all can get. First and foremost, yes, you can speed up your fitness journey whatsoever. You may be very healthy and I have been a person also in my journey. So I can vouch for that. There are a lot of runners that I am connected with also. And they could simply, you know, if you accelerate your fitness journey, if you are currently fit, just by practicing breathing, improving this one puzzle of your life or, you know, one tweak in your breathing and your fitness just boom. 
immense, immense benefit in reducing stress, anxiety, depression, anger issues, if you are having, ma making you more aware. And this is what you have learned in today's concept one also. Improving your sleeping disorder, improving your forgetfulness, overthinking, negative thinking issues that you are currently facing. Women in uh, 40s, 30s, anytime you are feeling, you know, a lot of hormonal issues. I can talk about myself. I have been a patient of thyroid. Now, no more a thyroid patient. I have people I know who are get in my community. My Wellness Abundance Hub is my community. We are a right and conscious breather. And they were also able to improve and bring down their thyroid levels. Low immunity. Cough, cold, sneezing, migraine, headache, immense benefit. You don't need to pop pills for sleeping, high BP issues, cough, cold, sneezing. Surrender to your breath, guys. Surrender to your breath. It enhances your meditation practice. It allows you to go deeper when you start breathing consciously. You are, if you are someone who is having issues with breathlessness, shortness of breath, asthma, please don't just rely on puffs or medicines. Trust your breath. You can manage your weight issues. Your weight is coming back to you. Because if to, please understand, to burn fat, you need oxygen. What is fat? It's a combination of carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and oxygen. You need oxygen to, to break this compound into carbon dioxide as well as hydrogen, uh, water, carbon dioxide and uh, water. So whatsoever you do, no amount of nutrition or exercise can help you if you are not breathing right, guys. And anyone who's really, really serious to attain true health, breathing, right breathing, conscious breathing can be of immense, immense help. So do you found it powerful, guys? So far, so good. If you loved it so far, just message me here. Loved it. And give me a thumbs up. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so sit upright and I want you to go through this one test that I want you to do it yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sit upright, everyone. Cross leg or feet on the floor. Shoulders down and relax. Bring your right palm over your belly. Okay, I'll just show you here. Right palm over your belly. Another hand over your chest. Here. So here is your diaphragm, everyone. Everyone press this area. Press this area. Sablo press karo. Do you feel your rib cages like this? Okay, my hands are the rib cages. You see there, yeah. So up here exactly is your diaphragm. It's a fin mus muscle, fin shaped muscle. Yaha pe hota aapka diaphragm inside, internally. Okay. Okay. So when you inhale, your lungs expand. Okay, and your diaphragm goes down like this. And as you exhale, it will come back to normal position inhale and exhale this is what your diaphragm works so your diaphragm is your primary breathing muscles that many of you might not have used yet and today we are gonna practice it but before that i want you to identify your own breathing pattern keep your right palm here over your belly another hand over your chest and i will give you the instructions please follow that just keep inhaling and exhaling. And I want you to observe which hand is moving as you are inhaling. So let's say this is your belly hand and this is your chest hand. So BH for belly hand, CH for chest hand. So you will inhale what is happening, which hand is moving and in which direction. That means uh, your belly hand is moving out, then you will write BH out. If it is moving in, you will write BH in. Similarly, for your chest hand, again, CH out, CH in. So just message here, everyone. Observe as you are inhaling now. Everyone message me when you are inhaling, which hand is moving and in which direction. BH out. Okay. When you are inhaling, BH out. BH out, CH in. BH out, BH out. Okay, great. Okay. BH more out. Okay, great. And when you are exhaling, now everyone type out for exhale. Now I'm just messaging here, exhaling. Now what is happening when you are exhaling? BH is greater than CH also. Okay. BH in. Good. Good. BH in. Okay. CH in. BH in. Okay. So belly hand and chest hand. Okay. Great. Awesome, everyone. So I want I let me just show you how you should be breathing. I'll just go a little back. 
Audible, give me a thumbs up. Audible, very well. Okay, so I want you to practice this today in front of the mirror with open eyes so that you see your movements. Very, very important. I will show you and demonstrate to you the right as well as the wrong way of breathing that you can observe. So when you are inhaling, your belly will expand because your diaphragm is going down, your belly will expand. As you exhale, your belly will go in. Now, what is the wrong way of breathing? Even if you are taking your belly out, a lot of times what you can see people are doing is their chest also move. That means their belly is going out, but chest also move. So are you someone doing this mistake that you are moving your chest as well as your body also out? Okay, so be very aware of this, that your shoulders are not moving up. You are not doing vertical breathing. Okay, and the complete wrong breathing that I was a person, chest breather, I still remember that when my coach has asked me, Yukti, show me when you are inhaling what is happening and I was pulling my belly in. That means inhale and pulling your belly in. So that is a wrong way of breathing. I repeat, when you inhale, please understand, your these are your understand like your lungs are your balloon so you are filling it with air so where what should happen to your lungs it will expand like a balloon so what will happen in your belly your belly will expand you don't need to remember logic common sense air in belly out air out belly in like a balloon balloon may air fill here it will expand Exhale or contract, remove the balloon uh, up on from the top and it will exhale. Yeah. Clear everyone? Is it clear? Is it clear to everyone? Yeah. So how you will breathe? You will breathe in a very relaxed way. So a lot of people do this mistake also that even if they are breathing in, they are through their belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. It's a natural way of breathing. Have you ever seen a an infant lying and sleeping and breathing. How do they breathe? They breathe in, their belly goes up. They breathe out, their belly goes down. They breathe in, their belly goes up. They breathe out and their belly goes down. Yeah, have you seen that? So this is a natural diaphragmatic way of breathing. And we are all born and blessed to breathe like that. It's just that we have forgotten how to breathe and because of the lifestyle and all these things, never people taught us also and we forget that. So are you all ready to practice abdominal deep diaphragmatic breathing? Shall we do that? Hmm? Okay. So keep your right palm over your belly, another hand over your chest, everyone. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So before... I go ahead. I want you to do a little stretches and I forgot to share. So can everyone uh, just clasp your fingers, take your hands out, palms facing forward and take your hands out completely up above your head. Inhale here and exhale. Turn over your right side. Inhale and exhale on your left. We are doing spinal stretches. Inhale, just warming up a bit. And exhale. Inhale, center. And exhale. Inhale, center. And lateral bend on your right side. Exhale without lifting your left hip from the floor. Be conscious. Keep your arms more straight. Inhale, center. And exhale on your left. Inhale, center, and exhale on your right. Stretch your arms nicely up. Inhale, center, and exhale. Now, both the palms in prayer position above your head. Stay there. Breathe. Breathe in. And now, focus on your breath. Chin parallel. Palms completely touching each other. Do not lock your thumbs. Do not open the mouth of your palms. Stare there. Breathe. Even if you feel, start feeling heaviness in your hands, you feel like bringing it down. Keep it here. 
stay there. Breathe. Connect to your breath. Even if you're feeling irritation, you're doing good. Inhale, stretch your arm up. Exhale, slowly bring it down. Very slowly, be very mindful. Feel your hands till the tip of your fingers. Come down. Yeah. Palms over your knees. Inhale, stretch your arm up. Twist on your right side and bring your both the arms down. Left palm over your right knee and right palm down. Give your body a nice twist. Look back. Inhale, center. Come to the center. Twist over your left side and look back. So right palm over your left knee, look back. Give your spine a nice twist. Do not round your back. Inhale, center. One last time. Exhale on your right. Twist. Inhale, center. And exhale on your left. Now take your left hand up in the air without losing your right palm over your left knee. Inhale. Right palm over your left knee. Keep your right palm over your left knee. And left arm up. Inhale here and exhale on your right. Inhale, center, and exhale on your left. Yes. Without lifting your opposite hip, inhale, center, and exhale. Bring your both the palms at the center. Let's open up our chest a little more. Inhale, and exhale. Breathe in, and breathe out. Thank you, everyone. All good. Nice final stretches. So you can do these simple exercises uh, before you start your breathing practice to just warm up a, a little bit your chest, your spine for more smoother flow of your breath. Okay. What should be the chest movement during this whole practice of deep diaphragmatic breathing practice? Keep your chest movement, no, no chest movement or very minimal micro movement at the chest level that you will be. The breath is going inside and allowing your belly to expand. That's it. Okay. So just keep your chest movement minimal and feel your breath more in your diaphragm. Now we are all set, prepared. Keep your right palm over your belly, another hand over your chest. Keep your eyes closed. Observe your breath. Inhale and allow your belly to expand. Exhale, your belly goes in. Initial few breaths to bring awareness and just aware whether I'm breathing right or wrong and fixing it, right? Bringing your air more into your belly. Keep your facial muscles completely relaxed as you breathe. Your forehead, your eyes, your eyeballs, your cheeks, your jaws are completely relaxed. With every inhale, allow your belly to expand and with every exhale, let your belly go back. Be aware. Minimal chest movement. Minimal to no. No vertical movement of your shoulders. It will come with practice, so don't worry. And gradually, we will move to counting. We'll be practicing today 4-4 four, four breathing pattern. 4 count of inhale and allowing our belly to expand. And 4 count of exhale. Let your belly falls back naturally. No pushing, pulling force. Anytime you feel discomfort, please, uh, you can discontinue the practice. Resume your normal breathing and continue. Also, it is a way for you to identify which breathing pattern is comfortable. We are practicing 4-4, four, four, but anytime you feel that 3-3 three, three is better for me, please switch to 3-3 three, three, rather than struggling at 4-4. Four, four. Or if you simply feel 2-2 two, two is good enough, go for 2-2. Two, two. First, identify your own comfortable breathing pattern. That's the most, most important thing, everyone. Yeah. I'll come a little closer. You all are in 
I will just check if you all are in good way. Keep your spine neutral and erect. Very important. Chin parallel. Shoulders down and relaxed. Sit upright. Press your sit bones. Remove specs. Please remove your specs, belt, watch. Just relax yourself completely. Keep your eyes closed. And focus on your belly breathing. As inhale, let your belly expand. Exhale, belly goes in. I'll give you an initial count today for 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four means 4 count of inhalation and 4 count of exhalation. Set the intention that I'm alert, awake, and still. The only thing that is moving is your breath. Surrender and complete focus on your breathing. Breathe in, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. In two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. In and expand your belly. Out, let your belly fall back. In two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. In two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. In and expand your belly. Exhale, let your belly fall back. In, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. In, and expand. Exhale, release. In, and expand. Exhale, let it fall back. In and expand your belly, eyes close. Exhale, release. Breathe in and expand. Exhale, release. In and expand fully. Exhale, release. Breathe in and expand. Exhale. In. Out. Focus on your breath. In. Allow your belly to expand. Out. In. Out. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. Breathe in. Out. In. Wow. In. Keep observing. Out. Inhale. Surrender to your breath. Out. Full attention. Out. Keep doing. In. 
Uh, very good, everyone. And uh, in out in here and exit breathe in breathe out in out in Ah, in, out, in, and out. Breathe in, and out, in. And out, inhale, and exhale, effortless flow of your breath, in, and out, breathe in, and out, in, and out, in, and out, in, and out, inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose, inhale, and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, belly expand, exhale, belly falls back naturally in and out. Sit upright in and out. Breathe in. And out. In two, three, four. Exhale two, three, four. In and out. In and out. In and out. Breathe in and expand. Breathe out and relax. Breathe in and expand. Breathe out and relax. Breathe in and expand. Breathe out and relax. Chin parallel. In and out. Breathe in. And out, breathe in, and out, breathe in, and out, breathe in, and out, breathe in, and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe into your belly and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in 
and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Relax. Bring your palms over your knees. You can relax. Keep your eyes closed. And relax. You can keep your one palm another uh, over the other. Clasp your hands also. Clasp your fingers. Clasp your fingers also. Your palms. Just relax. Keep your eyes closed. Relax and resume your normal breathing. Just be fully present. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in fully and breathe out completely. Now bring your palms to the heart center. Rub your palms. Take it to your eyes. Inhale and exhale. Give a gentle massage to your whole face and gently open your eyes with a gentle smile. Yeah. Take a deep breath in and stretch your arms. And as you breathe out, bring your palms at the heart center. Shoulders roll back and just say, I'm grateful to my breath. I'm grateful to my healthy body, mind and soul. I'm grateful to this whole universe. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Breathe. Breathe wellness and abundance. Thank you. Stay blessed. How are you all feeling now, everyone? All good? You can share your experience. By the way, I would certainly in, in the chat box. And thank you so much for being such a wonderful, wonderful uh, you know, participants with full diligence. I've been noticing every one of you, uh, you were doing so wonderfully. Yeah. Thank you. Feeling relaxed. Thank you. Thank you so much. So my just last piece of advice is please connect to your breath. It's all always there with you. Okay. Just please start connecting every every facet of your life cooking as soon as you get up to cooking wash you know brushing taking bath anything and everything you do start just be aware of it. just take few breaths and just ground yourself reset yourself keep resetting yourself thank you all thank you so much thank you so much sai sir for giving me this opportunity uh, pleasure being here uh, I can see some questions people have popped it and it has gone a little up also. Yeah, so we will yes. we will come back. We'll come back to the questions. Sure. Sure. So Thank first, you. wow, wow, wow. Deep gratitude to you, ma'am. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Really, really, it was eye-opening for a lot of us. And uh, yeah, so we we get to do Akshara Abhyasa, all, all the parents, right? They are so inquisitive to do Akshara Abhyasa to our kids. And I think we have to do Swasa Abhyasa first, right? So um, we'll have to learn the right way of breathing. In fact, when you tell someone, I'm going to learn breathing, it says, what? Right? So amazing. Absolutely. So so much of science, so much of fact is there. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Deeply uh, grateful to you. And uh, in you. fact, before, before I heard about breath coaches, I learned a lot of this from books, right? And uh, it was, I mean, less like you mentioned, I was also doing shallow breathing, right? I mean, I was like looking at all the Bollywood heroes pictures, right? You, you tend to breathe with your chest, right? And that is how I should be. Uh, but it was an eye opener. And then friends, this breathing that ma'am taught you, 4-4 four, four, four breathing is what we call in breathfulness as equal breathing. Or in pranayama circle, it's also called samavritti. So equal breathing is what we will practice every day before we start our meditation because that calms you down, that centers yourself, right? That is like the warm up that we do before the physical exercise, right? So equal breathing for five minutes and then we go into meditation, which we will uh, begin from tomorrow. 
So before we get to the questions, um, today's exercise is please practice this equal breathing, this 4-4 breathing for 10 minutes, three times during the rest of the day. Right? For people in India, you can practice between now and before you sleep. And from people joining us from the West, you can practice during any of your uh, daytime tomorrow. So please practice equal breathing, this 4-4 breathing for 10 minutes at a time for three times during the day and note down what you're feeling. Note down your observation, note down how you feel, right? And also try to keep practicing conscious breathing. So conscious uh, belly breathing, uh, not the shallow breathing. So now that you know a lot about your breathing, I'm sure you can all improve your life mileage. That's another wonderful analogy um, that you brought in. Uh, so the only thing is here, lesser the count is better compared to a vehicle mileage. So the lesser the count, uh, it, it's ideally, in fact, uh, if your breath rate is five and a half to six breaths a minute, it's also called coherent breathing, which we will talk about it later, right? So your, your life, your body is in coherence with its own intelligence. And the beauty is like Gautam Buddha says, when your body is in alignment with your intelligence, your life is also in alignment with what you're supposed to do, which is what we will learn over the next few days. So, my dear friends, uh, it's a wonderful session. Thank you very much again. I'll allow you to answer the questions, but please feel free to join tomorrow and we'll also join the chat uh, that, that is probably there in your email and uh, any questions, any specific things that you can ask during the chat. So, exercise and then tomorrow morning, please join us back at uh, uh, 6 a.m. IST. Now, let's open it to the questions. I will unmute, but uh, if there are any questions on the chat window, you can take and we'll also kind of ask people to uh, raise their hands. Okay, I see Note this email. Abhimitra's question in chat box. Uh, as you're inhaling belly out. You're not able to, you got, un uh, sorry, you got muted. Uh, yeah. Okay, I hope you all can hear me well. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah. So I see, uh, I want to clarify this one thing is uh, regarding the chest movement when you are breathing, belly breathing, especially when you are doing the diaphragmatic breathing, you use your diaphragm that is here and you will, you can, you know, with the practice, you will understand more and more with more awareness. Don't worry. Uh, if you find it little struggling or block here that you are not able to push the air, it will be initially, yes, because we have never worked with, you. You it has, your diaphragm has become redundant and the things that you will not do, it will it will take some time. Huh? It's, yeah. it's like you don't have to do it for a lot of days, what happens? You tilt it, you kick it, you kick it, you kick it, you have to do it all with respect to your own efficiency of breathing also, okay? So yes, you will feel all those little discomfort if you have been a chest breather for, uh, for quite a time. I too have felt that and but uh, it will just disappear. So don't worry about it. Chest movement will be minimal throughout the process. Focus on bringing the air towards your belly all the time. Chest movement cannot go like this. Neither this. That means your chest is also expanding. Minimal movement, very minimal movement in your chest. Or minimal micro movement. Okay, so if your belly is expanding in centimeters and inches, your chest will be just like in millimeters that you can just experience that. And with practice, you can experience there's no movement in your chest also. Okay. Okay. Abdomen area. You should focus on expanding your abdominal area while you are focusing so yeah this is also a very good question where should i focus on so this above your navel you should focus on but initially yeah this area you should be focusing on not the below the abdomen any other question some people have raised their hand yeah, so we can take some questions yeah yeah you can call out yeah and just see shalini is yeah, apart from raising your hand for asking question, I would like to hear some of your experience of today's class also, your feedback about the class. That will also be very good for us to know. So I'm unmuting Shalini and I'm adding you on a spotlight. Hello. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. It was a very uh, um it I, I'm going to really focus on my breathing. Um 
it was uh, very hard to breathe from the belly initially. Hopefully, by the end of 10 days, uh, we'll get to our goal. Uh, so I noticed my belly goes in when I breathe in. So how do you course, like how do you correct that? Like yes. try it, but so, it gets stiffer. Yeah. So, uh, so practice is the only answer I can give you, sweetheart. Okay. okay. So okay. you, if your belly is going in, your chest will be moving also, right? Don't worry. I've been like that. You only inhale and belly goes in. We forgot the breathing. Just practice more. Okay. Just start practicing. Being aware of your breathing itself will help you a lot. Okay. Juchi is a bit the thing that you have not done yet. It's just that with the practice, little bit only, you will start seeing great improvement. Okay. Okay. And, uh, okay. Yeah, Thank you. And, and, but... and commit, commit 10 days, fully commitment. And after that also, you please uh, continue your journey. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. I, I noticed yeah. that if I rest my back, my belly goes in, uh, out and in. But if I hold it up, then there is not mm -hmm. much movement. Is that normal? When you are resting back, what is happening? Like, so first so, thing is posture. Postures are important that you have to do not slouch. Okay. Some of you, very one or two people I have found that they are slouching like this. Okay. They are holding like this. So slouching position, keep your shoulders down and relax so that you open up your chest. If you are slouching like this all the time working, you are not giving space for your belly, for your for your breath to happen properly. So keep your shoulders down and sit relax. Very important. And for you, just start practicing and observing. Stand and practice. Stand and practice. Don't sit and practice. If you feel, stand in front of the mirror and practice. So there are a lot of ways. Stand, sit, lie down, practice belly breathing in all possible ways. Walking also, but that will come later, I would say. But yeah, stand in front of the mirror and you can certainly do it. So thank you. Thank okay. you, Shalini. Hope you found it useful. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes, when you, so during, Vijay is asking during equal breathing, is it required that stomach should be empty? Yes, uh, please practice breathing, uh, at least give a gap of one and a half hours, okay? And uh, your stomach should be light for sure. Okay, who is, okay, I see Santosh, where is he? you are here and then you just disappear. But he's here. <clears throat> Yes. Yeah, can you just put him on spotlight? I'm not able to. So I saw him and okay, I saw him now. Yes. Come, Santosh. Uh, Madam, uh, gratitude to you and uh, Sai sir for this wonderful session. Uh, like it's a very much uh, Integral, integral part of our life about caring what exactly the breath is all about. So you have made it very simplified, though it is not that simple. You know, you, with you are very much expertise and knowledge you gained with a lot of time spent on that. Uh, so my query is, after uh, knowing, you know, the healthy breath is six, five to six per minute. So I have <coughs> just done... Uh, a small exercise myself for five minutes of reducing it. Initially, it was 12 and I have break it down 15 seconds, one breath. So it came to four breaths, four breaths per minute. Is that the actual uh, method of following the right breath per minute or I'm in the right direction or is that the, something that I need to follow differently? So you are saying that you are your one cycle of breath is 15 seconds. Is that what you are saying? Okay. Yes, and you are maintaining it throughout the day? How it is like or no. during the practice? Yeah, through during the practice. If it is okay, then I will start mindful breathing from see, see, there is no right or wrong. First thing, most of the time. Until unless you are doing see the wrong thing is chest breathing. Otherwise, whatsoever variation in your breathing, the count, the 478, the 88, the 444, whatsoever you do, it's your own practice. This is this is how you go with your practice and through your intelligence. It is your body, your breath. Feel free to experiment. Experiment it. Yeah, I keep doing And I'm very glad that you are also experimenting and many, many congratulations for understanding and experimenting with your breath. Yeah, go ahead. 
thank you madam so my 5 minutes observation on this breath change uh, is like feeling completely relaxed like before my mind was like very uh, very anxious and very feared so what would happen what could happen you know what sort of situations may come across in uh, you know life official and both personal so i was very pretty concerned but when i did this for 5 minutes that 5 to 10 minutes i found very you know myself very clear peace mindfulness so today i got the i got to understand what exactly the meaning of the mindfulness mindfulness thought mindfulness breath so why uh, you know legends have named it as a mindfulness so they would have named in a different way but they selected this mindfulness so there is a reason thank for you. that thank you thank you thank you so much Thank, thank you. you, thank you, Geeta. I will bring you here. If you can keep your video on, we can bring you here. I see Geeta, and then Ashok ji. I will bring you here also. I'm adding you. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Geeta. We can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, gratitude uh, to you, madam. Very thank wonderful you, session. You, gratitude to Sai Kumar Reddy also. Uh, I really got a lot of uh, knowledge from the past one hour, whatever he talked about breath. Uh, my count, you know, when he uh, conducted the test, my breath count came to eight for one Very minute. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I was feeling a little bad. I said, why less? Others are saying 18 and 20. But then I'm happy. Uh, well, another thing, how can I bring it down to six? And you said six is a very good uh, way of breathing. Yes, How can I bring it down to six? With practice. One and you will practice. learn this various practices during this 10 days, um, uh, med uh, 10 days breath by breath. You will learn it and you will get it easily. Don't worry. So yeah. throughout the day when I uh, do my other uh, household chores, should I be reminded of my breath? Yes, absolutely. This is what we need to cultivate in our life more and more conscious of our breath. As soon as we get up till the night when we sleep, get into the practice of being more aware of your breath and breathing practices also. Cooking, brushing, anything that you are doing, just be aware of your breath. Keep practicing but, breathing. But that doesn't mean we have to keep your uh, one chest, uh, one palm on the tap. Uh, no, no, the no, not at all. You don't need to yeah. keep this. This was just for good question. Thank you so much for asking. Good question that this is just for you to understand your breathing pattern. Okay, because this was the first class. So we wanted you to understand your breathing pattern where okay. your belly is moving as you are inhaling. Otherwise, in normal, you don't need to. You just be aware. You are, you are working on your laptop. Just breathe. Consciously, okay. any which ways you are breathing, right? Twenty-four yeah, by right. seven, you are breathing. So just right. correct, keep correcting that. Okay, especially when you are feeling stressed out, take I say take breathing breaks. Okay, take those okay. breathing breaks. One minute, yeah. two minute, here, mm -hmm. there. Okay, okay. Kaam karte okay. Karte. Easy. Yeah, right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so I'm much. I'm from Bombay, Dadar. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm from Bangalore. <laughs> I'm currently in my So yeah. next, yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So Wonderful. Yeah. And yeah, then you, Shilpa. Yeah. Yeah. Before thank we you. get to Ashok, sir, uh, friends, yeah. some of you are asking about the uh, video. So the recording of this video will be available on the Permit Valley YouTube channel. And we'll also post a link in the WhatsApp group. So some of you are asking about the exercises that uh, ma'am taught. So you can always go back to the video and uh, look at it. So uh, every day's recording will be YouTube recording will be available on the Permit Valley YouTube channel and go to a playlist for Breath by Breath this September. Even the last Breath by Breath sessions of latest are available. So if you want to go back, reuse the exercises, any any data, any point, you can always do that during the day. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And go to the okay. I'll just add uh, Ashokji. Yeah. Ashokji, you can unmute and speak. And then next is Shilpa. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sai Sagar, sir. And thank you, Yukti, madam. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for Shilpa. the wonderful session you have given today. And I am silver member of your community also. Yes, I am. Sure. Uh, I am missing many sessions because on Tuesday, there is Internet Lifestyle Hub class. I am a gold, gold member of that class also. And I know that you are quantum member of ILH. 
I very well know that also. How, so how was what your I, today's yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah. I want to say that although this is very very essential, whatever you have taught today, but I would like to say if I have permission that one is body and the other is mind and the third one is consciousness. What you have told is at the body level. Although it will it will improve our mind our uh, stress also. So I personally suggest that whatever you have told must be practiced not in one hour from six to seven, but on the other time of the day. And because we, we have to connect our consciousness, we have to empty our mind. If we start using your techniques during the day, uh, du during six to seven uh, uh, session, then we'll forget that we want to connect our consciousness. We have to empty our mind. So what you have taught is very, very essential because the vehicle, unless the vehicle is right, the body is right, we cannot connect our consciousness. But the purpose of the morning session is to connect to the consciousness, our inner consciousness. So whatever you have suggested, probably it is to be done in other hours. So so that is that is, I am very clear about this because I have been attending your sessions also and I have been I have attended other breath by breath sessions of uh, Sai Sagar Sar also. So so these two things are different. If I focus whatever you have taught today, I will forget about connecting to my consciousness that is emptying my mind. So this is very, very essential. I am very clear about this. But I want to say if uh, I don't want to hurt you, madam, you are teaching very, very good things. This is to be practiced so that our body is okay. Once our body is feeling right, uh, we cannot connect our consciousness. So the very purpose uh, is defeated if you, we start practicing whatever you have taught in the morning session. Then I cannot empty my mind. Definitely, yes. I am very clear about it. So my humble request that I will start practicing whatever you have taught today during the daytime, but not during six to seven. Thank you very much. So, sir. Okay. So, good question. Uh, so, I know Ashok Ji has uh, attended. No, one second. Yeah. Yeah. So, I know Ashok Ji has attended several sessions in uh, Pyramid Valley and uh, and also the past breath by breath sessions. So, wonderful question, sir. So in the morning session, even in breath by breath, I think you last time you attended, right? So yes, what sir, we yes, do sir. is we use we use equal breathing as a warm up to our breath mindfulness meditation, right? So right, the sir. equal breathing is what really helped me uh, get rid of the thoughts. That is what we use for, right? We are not going to do uh, equal breathing for the entire one hour or forty minutes, right? right and right. Uh, yeah, and then anytime uh, anytime we are stressed out, because I practice when I was sick. Right, just the common code, even headache. So you start becoming conscious of your breath, right? And you start doing this equal breathing. It, it's a solution, right? In fact, I, I keep telling that recently one of the flights I was feeling very cold, right? Uh, then I think there's no blanket around. So what do I do? Immediately I got this thought. I started doing conscious equal breathing, right? Over time, because that gets your body into your healing system, it, it, it activates your parasympathetic nervous system, and then the healing mode, it automatically body raises the temperature. That is all. So this is a technique, but the whole idea of today's class is how important, because breath is the foundation of breath mindfulness. We want right. to be breathing right, we want to be breathing right, and we also know the right rate of breathing. And you may have noticed, because you've attended a lot of meditation sessions, over time, as we continue to do uh, breath mindfulness, over time, our breath rate slows down naturally. Right? Because that's what we complete, observe the breath, observe your breath, observe your breath, right? So when we go deep into, like you said, deep consciousness, right? So then automatically your breath rate slows down. But in, in deep meditation, you may have observed, you won't even feel your breath, right? So there, there the gap between your, I mean, one breath and other breath is too uh, high, right? So that happens naturally. Initially, we are taking, doing some conscious equal breathing to get that. That is all. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Is that okay, Sai sir? If I share my uh, uh, contact details with people so that they can connect to me later. Part sure, sure. Show. Yeah, yeah. No, sure. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just sharing here. You all can connect to me at this later part also. Okay. Yeah. I'll bring here. I hope you have got the answer uh, very well, Ashokji. Yeah. Great. So I'll bring Shilpa here. Yes, Shilpa. 
hi happy morning to all and i am very much uh, grateful for this session uh i especially for you because uh, i was doing meditating from past one month uh, uh they'll tell me we, we need to consciously breathe we need to observe breathing but uh, between that uh, we, our mind will get to more of thoughts but today i didn't get a single a second a thought because we have consciously uh or observing our breath and rightful breathing uh, how we need to breathe and it was very useful for me actually i'm a cancer patient as you told before i was no one has been uh, told about the breathing technique which which will, which will uh, cure our uh, diseases Uh, you are the first person who has told that i am very much thankful for you ma'am and very much thankful for this session thank you so much thank you thank you so much shilpa ji thank you so much and keep practicing and, uh, and you will start experiencing more uh, make every moment blissful with your breath yeah stay blessed breathe <laughs> great thank you thank you so much for wonderful sharing um i i think i have brought here everyone yes i guess so yeah yes sir sir all right so wonderful dear friends thank you very much yukti ma'am really appreciate thank you thank you so much sir yeah really really appreciate your uh, presence and uh, sharing your expertise in a very clear simple precise way and uh, uh, this this session was primarily to underscore the importance of right breathing right in fact as you said i would call i would term this session as wise breathing you said right and conscious breathing so that is what we'll all have to practice and friends that is the foundation for breath mindfulness first we have to know our breathing and tomorrow mm -hmm. we'll get into the meditation part the first step of meditation right what is mindfulness what is mindfulness of breathing and then we'll start with the first step and then over the next 11 days we'll go through the remaining three steps of uh, uh, breath mindfulness meditation or breathfulness routine and like uh, shilpa mentioned uh, i think uh, for all of us it's an eye opener once you start centering yourself with this equal breathing technique you will you will start getting into meditative states much faster right thoughts you will you'll be able to keep thoughts away for a longer time with that uh, uh, thank you very much my dear friends for attending day 1 of the breath by breath 11 day breath by breath session uh, have a wonderful uh, breathful and conscious uh, day ahead and or, or tomorrow and uh, tomorrow morning we'll meet here again at 6 am sharp 6 am ist sharp for taking the next step in our breathfulness journey thank you very much have a wonderful day and thank you very much thank you so much sai sir thank you so much and thank you everyone for participating mm -hmm. and uh, giving time to your very own breath thank you तो मेरा भाई ये है कि जब ये वीडियो पॉइंट पर आ रहा है आ